Hey guys, Devin with Resupplies, and today we're going to be checking out the Apex Dose. Let's see what we actually get in the package. Nice clam on the front. Calibrating. Here's the dose itself. It's pretty heavy. Um, it, this does have two heavy-duty stepper motors inside. So there's it's supposed to be a very accurate pump. And yeah, so we'll look at how we set this up on the Apex, and we'll also take a look at how to calibrate it and how to get her started. And we'll start out our first test with some vodka dosing. Now for mounting my old doser, I'm going to just look for like stand with a magnet strip that held onto the steel stand. And conveniently, it looks like these screw holes on the apex pretty much line up with the end tube. So I'm going to unscrew my acrylic and attach the magnet to the back of the dose and hopefully it's strong enough to hold it. So I definitely lucked out with this. These screw holes line up perfectly. And they'll slide in. I just, there we go. So it should hold it. Hopefully the magnet's strong enough. And for those of you that want to try it, I bought this from Princess Auto and it is a Titan USA magnet is for magnetic on tools. And I use drywall plugs and the gaps between the magnets put screws in as a fastener. And it works great if you have a steel stand to connect things. So the magnet worked beautifully. Um, it's very strong. I'm not worried at all. So the Apex does come with clear tubing. Um, I'm going to stick with my red RODI line just to keep with the red and white theme of the system. And it gets nice and little push connectors in the other dosing containers. So. We'll get this hooked up and then we'll figure out how to connect it to the Apex and calibrate it. Alright, so we've got the dose installed, they got my tubes around. Uh, the first one's going to be aqua power and the next one's going to be vodka, so I'm going to try vodka dosing. And they run to my little holder right there and we'll drip into the tank. So next, we will get this plugged into the Apex head unit and start calibrating it. Now before we can actually calibrate the pump, we need to prime it, which basically just means getting the liquid inside of the, the lines get all the air bubbles out so I'm going to start with pump one which is my acro power and to do that all I do is hold down this first button and you can see the pump will start spinning and now if we come down and look at our container we're going to hold that button down until we see liquid coming out and we know we got all the air bubbles out there we go Okay, so we should be good now. Okay, so we've primed it, we've got our tube full of liquid, and now we're going to dose into this graduated cylinder. Apex is going to attempt to dose 40 milliliters. And if it's off, we will tell it, and that's how we'll configure it and set it up. So we'll start, we'll go into setup, module setup, config module, the dose, so the Apex recognized it. Yeah, calibrate pump one and okay so now it's going to be dosing 40 milliliters so I'm just holding it in so it doesn't tip over and you can see the cylinder starting to fill up it does say it takes about 90 seconds so I'll just let it do its thing and we'll see where it sits Now one thing is, this isn't the quietest pump in the world, like you can definitely hear the hum of it when it's on, but it is using a stepper motor so it's extremely precise, so a bit of a trade-off, but you can get extremely accurate down to 0 0.1 of a mil type of doses, so it's great for doing vodka or high precision things. For your general dosing, I mean, it's not a huge deal to be ultra precise, so it depends what you're doing with it, but it's definitely nice. My future goal for the dose is automatic water changes, so I want it to be pretty darn accurate. But until that time comes, it's going to be my new test subject for vodka dosing. 
So I'll skip ahead until this finishes. The dose is finished. And it looks like it dosed 41 milliliters. So just a smidge over. Uh, when you are looking at this, you also want to make sure you do it level. When you're looking straight on, there is a bit of a dip because the water will go up the size and the very bottom of the dip is called the meniscus. And that's where you actually want to measure from. So it looks like it's pretty much 41 mils on the dot. So we'll go ahead and set that into the apex. Alright, so 41, save. And the pump is now calibrated. Show you how to set it up in Apex Fusion. To start, click on the gear and the little plug for your outputs. We're going to scroll down to dose 82, which is the second pump. Uh, next, to show this as an example. We click the gear and we'll say modify interval. The start time is when you want the dose to start. So if you were doing it, Alkalinian calcium, you can say, okay, I'll dose this one for the first 12 hours, that one for the next 12 hours. Um, but this, this is going to be for vodka dosing, so I'm not too concerned. I'm going to say, so action, add, remove. So if you're doing a water change, one pump would add, one would move, because I'm dosing. It's going to be add. The volume, so I'm going to say 3 milliliters per day. Click OK. And if I click on interval summary, it'll kind of tell me how what exactly it's going to do. The nice thing is it will break the dose up over that full interval for me. So it's not one big dump in your tank at once. It's getting a very slow drip. And so you're giving those nutrients or carbon source, whatever you want to your tank throughout the whole day. So looking at this, number of doses, 14. So it's going to do 14.2 milliliter doses. And the final dose will be 0.4 milliliters. Pump speed is 7 mils per minute. So splits it up throughout the whole day. I'll say OK. And next, I'm just going to rename it so I know what it is. So dose vodka. OK. And to finish it off, all you do is hit upload. And your pump is programmed. It's just that easy. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any other questions or want to learn some more, check out the link below at reefsupplies.ca.